On May 5, 1864, Grant began his sustained offensive against the Lee when he attacked the Army of Northern Virginia near Chancellorsville, Virginia. Fighting was intense as both armies maneuvered themselves into the dense forest of trees nearby, known as the Wilderness. On the morning of May 5th, Union forces attacked Richard Ewell's Confederates at Orange Turnpike. Later in the afternoon, A.P. Hill's forces run into General Winfield Scott's Federals at Plank Road. The fighting subsided as night fell, and both sides called in reinforcements. At dawn on May 6th, Hancock attacks Hill's forces, driving them back. May 6th began well for Grant as Union forces had collapsed the Confederate right flank. General James Longstreet arrives to reinforce Hill. The rebels rallied and attacked the Union flank in a devastating counterattack. Union General Ambrose Burnside launches an assault on the Confederate center. His men encounter heavy fight and are repulsed. The two armies fought back and forth all day, both attacking and repulsing attacks in a forest so thick that the trees were gnawed in half by the intense spray of bullets. By the end of the day, five generals lay dead and neither side held an advantage, ending the battle in a tactical draw. In all, 162,920 men were engaged on the battlefield. The Union, led by General Ulysses S. Grant, suffered 18,400 casualties, and the Confederacy, led by Robert E. Lee, suffered 11,400 casualties. Why did this battle matter? Unlike previous Union generals, Grant didn't retreat after the battle. Since the Civil War had begun, the Union had seen a bevy of generals come and go, mostly because of their incompetence and hesitation to push the advantage of their superior numbers. Grant, however, was not like other generals. After the tactical draw at the Wilderness, Grant did not retreat, but instead continued to advance southward. This forced Lee to fall back into the defensive and gave the Union Army the advantage of dictating the rules of engagement. Unlike others, Grant was willing to press the attack. The battle was horrific, and the South took heavy losses that it no longer could afford. The battle was intense, and bullets flew everywhere. The thick cover of the woods made it difficult for ranks to form, and so men fell in every direction. Although the Union had lost more men in the conflict, the Confederate Army still took heavy casualties. With fewer men and supplies dwindling, Lee's army simply couldn't afford such losses. Even worse, the wilderness literally turned into hell as the sparks from the rifles set the dry underbrush ablaze. Wounded men choked on smoke or were burned alive waiting for help. 